Part 2. How to optimize your article for a given keyword. So you have a great keyword in mind and you're absolutely sure that you're going to match the searcher intent with the article that you're about to write. How do you optimize your article for that keyword? Well, you don't. I mean, if your article perfectly matches the searcher intent for that keyword and gives people exactly what they are looking for, that is nearly 80% of all optimization work. Yes, Google is just a machine and it is not smart enough to actually read your article like a human being and understand why it is better than thousands of other articles on the same topic. But Google isn't dumb either. Squeezing your target keyword into your article more frequently than your competitors was a good way to trick Google 10 years ago, but not so much today. Let's examine the search results for the keyword how to learn SEO. Our article ranks at position number 5, if we count the featured snippet and the people also ask box. How many times do you think we use the phrase how to learn SEO in that article? Once. Only in the headline. So maybe that's why we don't rank number 1 for how to learn SEO search query. Maybe the competing pages use this keyword more frequently in their content. Let's see. And no. Both articles that rank above us have zero mentions of that keyword. So why do they rank so high then? That's because Google has enough technology and enough ranking signals to be able to find the most relevant page for a certain search query without relying on how many times that keyword was used on a page. In fact, we have studied the top 10 ranking pages for 2 million random search queries and what we discovered was quite fun. 75% of all pages that ranked in Google Top 10 don't have even a single mention of the search query that they rank for anywhere on the page. Back to our example with how to learn SEO search query. Google is smart enough to understand that phrases like SEO Learning Center or Online Resources for Learning SEO are perfectly relevant to what the user is searching for, even though they don't match the search query word for word. This is why I suggested that by nailing the searcher intent with your content, you automatically do 80% of all optimization work. Your article is likely to have enough synonyms and relevant words and phrases for Google to be able to understand what it is about. So does that mean you should ignore any kind of keyword optimization and write as you please? Not really. The rule of thumb is to use your target keyword, or at least the most important words of your keyword, in the following places. URL, title, headline and content. Let's go back to the search results for how to learn SEO. The main words of the keyword are obviously learn and SEO. All of the top 10 ranking pages have the word SEO in their URLs and titles. As for the word learn, some of the pages have it in their URLs and titles, and others get away with the synonyms and closely related words like resources, tutorial, training, teach. So, as you can tell, Google allows you quite some flexibility in keyword targeting. That is why, by simply matching the searcher intent with the content of your article, you're already making it 80% relevant to the search query, because you are already using all the right words. I'd say that further refining your URL title, headline and content will probably move the needle by another 10%. This percentage is quite arbitrary, there's zero science behind it, but you get the idea. And I'm sure you want to learn about the final 10%. There is a great article by Cyrus Shepard where he explains rather advanced things like TF-IDF, which stands for Term Frequency Inverse Document Frequency, Semantic Distance and Term Relationships, Co-Occurrence and Phrase-Based Indexing, Entity Salience, etc. There is also a great article by Dr. Pete that shines a bit of light on how Google reads and understands your search queries in order to find the most relevant search result. Both of these posts are absolutely great reads and I highly recommend you to check them out if you're serious about SEO, but at the same time they're just scratching the surface of how Google really works. Their algorithms are much more complicated. So unless you're a professional SEO, I don't recommend you to get carried away with advanced on-page SEO tactics, which are quite technical. The foundation of your success in search is the actual content, not the SEO enhancements that you apply to it. To win in the search results today, you need to be an authority and expert on the topics on which you are writing. And if your article is objectively better than what already ranks in Google Top 10, you should be there soon.